Well, as you have probably heard, a teaspoon of sugar helps the medicine go down, but a recent medical commentary warns that the sweet stuff could be as addictive as heroin. 23 ABC's Mark Christian explains what dietary experts say about that commentary and how you should consider limiting your sugar consumption. Some people just gotta have it. I love sugar. You can find it in cookies, cakes, soft drinks, and pretty much in all packaged and processed foods. People crave the sugar just like you would a drug. And that's exactly what one recent study out of Europe claims. Sugar can be as addictive as heroin. Sugar fiend when it comes to candy, like my son's trick or treat candy that I just had, we just had, I got myself into that a little bit. Like stealing candy from a baby, Halloween is a sugar addict's dream. He's a sharing boy, that's good. <laughs> Health experts say sugar produces a dopamine effect which stimulates the part of your brain that causes you to feel good. But that's the same thing that our bodies do with a drug, so that's where we can kind of put the addictive properties so there are definitely some addictive properties there now is it addictive like heroin that might be taking it to a little extreme the commentary says high fructose corn syrup is the main offender which you'll find in soft drinks fruit juices baked goods condiments such as ketchup jams and sauces sugar is something our bodies know how to process and manage but high fructose corn syrup is not a natural product this is concentrated so our bodies respond a little bit differently now, dietary experts say we consume too much sugar on a daily basis, and one look inside your pantry can reveal the truth. For example, the average soda has about 10 teaspoons of sugar. And the report's author suggests using warning labels on sugary products similar to what's on a pack of cigarettes. But this would be for obesity, diabetes, and other health concerns. I think that's a great idea. You know, if we can teach the young people to look at that and then try to think about it and restrict themselves, everybody's going to be better off. Mark Christian, 23, ABC.